What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters. Welcome to the Life to Middle. Gonna be doing a 10 inch vinyl collection. It's not really an update because it's not a whole lot of new stuff in here. There are two new records. Um, but the rest of these are things I've had for a while, and it's just kind of an overview of stuff I have on this format. So I'm gonna be doing 10 inch vinyl. Um, this one came in the mail the other day. You might have seen my uh, Metal War God uh, DCLT video. And uh, this is one that he sent me. It just got me thinking, you know, I started going through and listening to some of my 10 inch vinyl and, and you know, flipping through it and looking at it. And I think I've probably shown them here and there, most of them, but not all of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really go through quickly, quickly as I can. Um, I am a bit of a jabber mouth, so. Uh, but start off with this one. So, except Balls to the Wall, Live at Whack and Air with the CNO Symphony Orchestra. This is on a uh, silver vinyl, 10 inch vinyl, two, out, two song, I don't know, I'd call it a 10 inch single because it is not a record or not, a, not an album, it's only two songs. Uh, all right, and then uh, this is the other new one I received. Um, this is brand new, just came out. This is the not new Sodom. This is uh, Partisan. It uh, is a three song EP, features two new studio tracks and then a, a classic song, um, Tired in Red, recorded live this past year. And this is to introduce all the new band members in Sodom, apparently. Uh, Tom Angel Ripper fired his band including his longtime guitar player who's been with him for I think a couple decades now uh, and all these guys now are new so um, this is kind of to introduce them uh, and to announce the tour that they're doing which you can see the sticker on the front with the tour dates so a very cool EP it's on red vinyl I think um, I'm not gonna time to pull all these up and look at the covers of the vinyl but uh, yeah thrash metal German thrash metal very cool 10 inch EP uh, this is one that I worked on this this past year. This is uh, Light Force, this uh, Battle Zone. This is their first, I don't know if you call it full length, but their first album. I'd call it a full length. I mean, this could have just as easily been on a 12 inch record. Um, it's got eight songs. That's generally, you know, an 80s um, full length album. But uh, regardless, on 10 inch record, I did get to do the cover on this one. Light Force, Australian heavy metal band from the 80s. This was a brave length 87 release. Uh, this actual pressing is from 2019 on Soundmass Records out of Australia. So, uh, Light Force Battle Zone, kind of traditional heavy metal. They they have a very new wave of British heavy metal sound. They kind of remind me of that up tank, and uh, uh, especially the vocals kind of has that Augie Ward kind of punkish vibe to it. Um, er, the very first Tigers of Pantang or uh, very early Maiden. That's kind of where that Light Force sits. Place the Skulls, traditional Doom, uh, Victor Griffin. Um, this uh, sticker on the stuck in the back of this one. This EP um, is songs that was recorded for the first album, I believe, and I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm right here. And, but uh, let's see. So we got Consuming Fire, Days of Trouble, Cornerstone, and The Blood of Jesus. And of course, this is Victor Griffin from Pentagram's band. Um, he just finished, like last year, doing touring for years with Pentagram. Uh, autographed by the whole band, including Victor. And. Uh, these songs were left off of the first album, I believe, due to the fact that their label, which was, um, I can't remember the name of it, but they do a lot of doom metal, uh, thought those songs were too, didn't like the lyrics, basically. Um, so yeah, it was they were censored off the first album and released as this EP instead. 10-inch, Place of Skulls, Love Through Blood. That has been re-released on CD a, a few times, it has a few different covers. Uh, this is Orchid, uh, four-song EP. The Sign of the Witch uh, with Helicopters, John the Tiger, Sign of the Witch, and Strange Winds. This is a gatefold 10-inch um, vinyl. And again, it's on a colored vinyl. I really like this band. I'd love to get their first album on vinyl. I missed out on it, and it's just expensive now. But uh, Sign of the Witch, Orchid. I don't know, Doom Metal, Stoner Metal, whatever you call it. Uh, Girls Can Rock the Runaways, Born to be Bad. This is early uh, Runaways demos. 10-inch um, EP. I think this is an official release, but we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 songs on here. Uh, just early demos when the band, when the, what was that guy, King, uh, not, I almost said King Valley. Um, what was that guy's name? Kim Valley. Was, is that right? Damn, no, I can't remember. Yeah, Kim Valley uh, was working with the band to, uh, you know, just kind of refine them and help them become the rock and roll band that they were. So this is those early demos all on one 10-inch vinyl. Again, that could have been on 12-inch vinyl. It's got enough songs. Uh, Mortification, Ancient Prophecy, Overseer. So Soundmass Records put out the first uh, three uh, Mortification albums on vinyl. All of them, uh, well, I should say all of them. The second and third album were too long to be honest, on uh, one vinyl. 
Um, so when Nuclear Blast put out originally, they put out a, uh, a seven-inch vinyl with the two missing songs. So what um, Soundmaster was, they put out this cool little uh, ten-inch album, which features the missing songs off the second and third album. They're here as well as the studio version of Time Crusaders, which is a great song that was never released on any official album. It was on a compilation. And then um, Butcher Mutilation, which was off of the uh, Five Years of Nuclear Blast 1993 compilation. So. And that's probably one of my, it's just a brutal song, uh, probably one of Mortification's heaviest death metal songs, so. Uh, this is one I've had forever, this is Cheap Trick, um, Fan of Law Parts, this is a uh, early, early 80s e uh, EP, um, features four songs, original pressings also came with a promo of Everything Works If You Let It which I have right here. At one time I had like three of these, but I've since given them away as BCLT. Whenever I see them, I would pick them up, because back when I was buying records in the 90s and early 2000s, there wasn't this resurgence that there is now, and uh, I could pick these things up cheap, and anyhow, I only have the one left. But anyhow, yeah, cheap trick, classic cheap trick. I think it was about 80, see like, see a year on here. No, yeah, 1980. Like I said, early 80s. As early 80s as you can get. <laughs> and this one came out on Record Store Day just a few years ago. This is, um, found new parts, uh, all new tracks. Um, this was four songs, I believe. Yep, four songs. Apologize for the air conditioner keeping in that in the background, but it is a hot day here. Hi uh, Hyrax, the uh, Barrage of Noise EP. This was the, I believe this was 2000. I don't see a year in here, but I believe that's when it was. It's an eight-song uh, EP uh, for the return or the reunion of Hyrax uh, with Kate and DePena. Um, kind of uh, less thrash metal that they, than they uh, became with the follow-up album, um, but it has more of a crossover feel to it. You know, it's kind of, it is thrash, but it kind of has more, a little more of a punk hardcore edge to it than some of the other albums like uh, New Age of Terror. Uh, Hyrax Blast in Bangkok EP. I have the original EP, which is a 7 inch, and this was a repressing on white vinyl. Uh, I believe Kate DePenny put this out on his own label, uh, Deep Six Records. And uh, yeah, again, kind of crossover thrash metal, a bit of a punk edge to it. Uh, Kate has a very unique vocal style. Very cool EP from them. Overkill Live from Oz. This is a four track live EP. Love Overkill. Love. Uh, this album and I and I don't know it's live overkill. They're just awesome live. Um, they're just one of those brands that brings it. You know they um, they just have a what's the word I'm looking for a charisma uh, on stage and this definitely captures it. Four songs. You got horoscope, long time dying, necro shine, and walk through fire. Uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. This ain't Valentine's Day massacre EP. Uh, motor Motorhead girl EP. Motorhead and uh, girl school together. And features uh, Please Don't Touch, <clears throat> which is, um, of course, a uh, um, girl school song, uh, Emergency, and Bomber. So, another girl school EP, Come On, Let Go. This is actually a, a single. It was released as a 7 inch and a, a 10 inch. Uh, this has um, Come On, Let Go on one side tonight and Demolition on it, so three songs. What year that came out? It had to be early 80s, probably 82 or so. Ah, some more death metal. This is Carcass, um, Soldier Gore Mission, Surplus Steel. Uh, this one came out just a few years ago on Nuclear Blast, so this is a 2014 EP from Carcass. This is a cool one. Fill Your Head with Rock. Live at uh, Live and Raw Sweden Rock Fest 2005. I'm not sure I've ever shown this one before. Um, it's a four track EP from Kim Mitchell. Just jamming live at Sweden Fest. Very cool EP. Picture disc, it's just in a plastic sleeve, and I have another sleeve to protect the sleeve. <laughs> so, Kim Mitchell, Canadian uh, guitar rocker. Uh, totally out of the mix for me. This is Gary Newman. This is the club mix of I Can't Stop. I uh, just grew up in the 80s, so there's just something about Gary Newman that I dig. So I can't remember where I picked this up at or, or how much I paid for it. It wasn't much, but it's been part of my collection ever since. Uh, this is another one I doubt I probably ever showed. Um, it actually has a, a uh, flexi disc with it, too, uh, that came with it. And I do have the flexi disc, I'm pretty sure. I said I wasn't going to open these, and I'm doing it anyhow. 
I get all kind of wound up and excited and start talking real fast when I talk about my collection, you know. Uh, yeah, it's in, it is in here. So there's the, uh, the flexi disc that came with it. Put this to the side and work on later. All right, this is a recent pickup. Probably earlier this year, end of last year. Alice Cooper, the sound of uh. Um, this is a uh, five song EP, so you got the sound of uh. The Black Widow, Public Anima, Animal Number Nine, It's My Body, and Cold Ethel. And these are there are live tracks. Promotional single for Aerosmith back. This is actually a '90s release. Uh, this is a two-song single, basically. So you got Rats in the Cellar and Lord of the Thighs live at uh, Lord of the Thighs is live from Texas Jam '78, I believe it was. And Rats in the Cellar is actually from Rocks. Uh, and I can't remember. This is one of those things that I think you got for free if you bought. I don't remember what album it was. Now I should know that. It's ridiculous that I can't remember it, but. Um, yeah, it was. It's now you can you can still buy them. They're not like overly expensive, but yeah, you're not gonna get it for free anymore. <laughs> um, and it's not gonna cost you, you know, five ten bucks. It's much more expensive than that. This is another one that for a while I had like three copies of this. Um, they were just showing up like crazy for a little while. Uh, after all, thrash metal. Um, Rejected, overruled. This is a recent release as well. This is number 76 of 300 released from, let's see, I'm pretty sure this is actually a 2018 release. So, three songs Rejected, overruled, No One Can Deny, and uh, Land of Sin featuring Andy LaRope on guitar. Andy LaRope of Merciful Fate fame. Uh, yeah, just fantastic um, thrash metal, you know, speed metal, clean vocals. I love the, the last two After All albums, and this one fits right in there because it's from those that same period. Um, this is one that someone gave me, Greg Dieg gave me this one. This is RC5, kicked out. This is kind of a, if it looks like an MC5 logo, that's what I saw last first two. And that's kind of the idea here. It's just straightforward, loud rock and roll. Um, kind of a punk edge to it. I wouldn't call it hardcore by any stretch of the imagination. I would just call it rock and roll. Um, somewhere along, you know, MC5 meets the Ramones. You know, somewhere in that range. Some thrash metal from the UK. This is Acid Rain. This one is from, uh, I think it's from 1989. Um, I don't see a year on here either. Made in France. Nope. Anyhow, so what you got on here is uh, Humanoia. Or Humanoia. Humanoia. And then the B-side is recorded live, and we get All I See, Goddess, um, Bull Boy, and Chaos, recorded live at London Astoria, um, 8389. I'll move it as quick as I can here. What am I at? 12 minutes. Might be able to get under 20 here. Uh, Five Souls, this is Judas Priest. These were the songs that were recorded and released on CD for Redeemer of Souls. Um, the, had, it was like a bonus CD that came with the bonus, or the special edition of Redeemer Souls. Well, they finally released this as an EP. I think it was one of those record store, yeah, record store day releases. Um, the album is just called Five Souls. Cool cover art. Good songs. Um, nothing on here that would, you know, I can see why they were left off with less than bonus tracks. They, you know, they don't, they aren't great songs, but they're not bad. They're just good, Judas, solid Judas Priest songs, but nothing real memorable about them is, is my thing. Uh, this is uh, Machine Head, this is uh, Killers and Kings, this is another one of those Record Store Day releases um, that was over, very, very overpriced. The price tag's still on it. $21.99 for basically uh, Killers and Kings demo and Our Darkest Day and Bleeding on side two. So a three song EP, single, whatever you want to call it. Um, there was actually a different version of this cover release, I think. Uh, but this is one of Machine Head's better releases, more metal, less new metal, um, less groove oriented. I, I like this album. Uh, it's not great. <laughs> Machine Head has just been all over the map musically, and I, I like some of it more than others. When they get more into the new metal kind of stuff, eh, it's just not my thing. But when they stuck more to the straightforward, you know, metal and the groove metal, I like that a bit more, and that's what you're going to get here. A Metallica Live at Grimey's. This is a 10 song EP. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 song EP recorded live at the basement at Grimey's in Nashville, Tennessee on June 12, 2008. And this is a, uh, I think this is a two, two record set. It's definitely a gatefold. I'm pretty sure it's two records, but yeah, again, 10 inch vinyl. Let me go to the songs real quick. 
No remorse. Fuel. A lot of people don't like that song. I love that song. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. <laughs> Harvester of Sorrow. Welcome home. Sanitarium. Uh, from the Bell Tolls. Uh, the Freight Ends of Sanity. Jam. Master of Puppets. Sad But True. Motor Breath. And Seek and Destroy. This one I love. Uh, Blue Oyster Cult Live. New York. 1972. Uh, this has Workshop of the Telescopes. Uh, Cities of Flames of Rock and Roll, The Red and Black and Bucks Boogie, recorded live in New York in 1972. This one came out in 19... Was it the end of the 90s? I don't see any... I don't see a uh, release date on here, so I can't tell you, but this is awesome live, BOC, classic. It's one of those bands that I love, and it's another one of those bands that just shines live. Uh, this is Rush, The Guardian. This is uh, another one of those Record Store Day releases. Seems like there's a lot of those 10-inch releases, um, but let's see what we have on here. A studio version of uh, The Garden from Clockwork Orange, and then the live version uh, from the Clockwork Orange tour on the B-side. Uh, and I believe that B-side, the live one, had a whole orchestra and everything recorded there, if I recall I'm listening to it. It's been a while since I've heard that one. Last one! This is uh, Hammerfall Natural High. Now this one I've had for probably a good decade at least. Yeah, 2006. I bought this as a new release. Um, I think I even pre-ordered it. I've had it that long. Uh, it features um, four songs. Natural High, Natural High instrumental version. They call it a karaoke version. Um, the Fire Burns Forever and uh, Raise the Hammer. Live. Raise the Hammer live. So There you go. Hammerfall. German uh, power metal band. Hammerfall. I've always liked Hammerfall since their very first album, actually. So that's it. That was, that's my entire 10-inch vinyl collection, I believe. Maybe one or two somewhere else that I've forgotten about, but I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think. Would love to see some other people show their 10-inch vinyl collection if you have any. God bless. Stay strong.